Hey everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on how to create a branch in GitHub. My name is Ayazafar and in this video I will guide you through the process step by step. Whether you are new to Git and GitHub or just need a refresher, this tutorial will help you understand the concept of branching and how to create a new branch in your GitHub repository. Before we dive into creating branch, let's quickly discuss what a branch is and why it's essential in version control. In Git, a branch is a separate line of development that allows you to work on different features or bug fixes without affecting the main code base. It's like creating a copy of your project where you can experiment and make changes independently. Now let's get started with creating a branch in GitHub. So navigate to your repository. On the github if you are not logged in then log into your github account and open your repository next we need to locate the branch drop down so once you are in the repository look for the branch drop down here so it's usually located near the top left corner of the repository page so the drop down will show you the current branch you are on which is typically the main or master branch so you have to click on this drop down menu in the text field that appears type in the name of your new branch so like testing choose a descriptive name that reflects the purpose of the branch such as feature dash login or bug fix dash navbar so for now i will just pick this one testing and it is saying that it will it will be creating from the carousel branch but if you want to use a different branch then you can use that as well. So for example, I if I want to use the main branch, so then switch to that main branch and then type the command, uh, type the branch name test. Now it is saying that create branch from the main. So now click on that, that would immediately create a new branch from that main branch. Now, after creating the branch, GitHub will automatically switch to the new branch you can verify that you are on the correct branch by checking the branch drop down menu again it should now display the name of your newly created branch this is one way to create a branch you can also create a branch from the terminal as well so for example if you have cloned your repository so let me show you i'm going to clone this repository here and now let's go to this folder cd angular code and right now I am inside my repository now I want to create a new branch so if you want to see that which branch you are right now you can simply type the git branch press enter and it will tell you that you are on the carousel branch now if you want to switch branch to another branch you will simply use git checkout main okay if you type git branch again it will now tell you you are on the main branch to create a new branch simply type git checkout and the name of the branch that you want to create but before that pass the dash b flag and then the branch name hello world press center the branch has been created now i need to push that branch to the github for that i will simply type git push origin hello dash world okay this has created a new branch on the remote origin so now if you reload it and click on this drop down you will find that a new branch hello world is available to use now okay as these were just test branches so i don't want to keep them in this rep uh, repository so i will go to the branches area i can simply delete them so let's delete them you can click on this delete button and this one as well okay that's it all right congratulations you have successfully created a new branch in your github repository you can now start making changes and commits specific to this branch without affecting the main code base it's important remember that creating a branch is just the beginning you will typically work on your feature or bug fix in the new branch make commits and then create a pull request to merge your changes back into the main branch when you are ready if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more GitHub and programming tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Goodbye.